We're here with the 269 Truck Addicts, obviously located in the 269. Yeah. More specifically, Galesburg, where I'm from. Yeah. Whenever I'm home or here, I'm 22 minutes away from 69, what? 24 minutes away from the Penetrator, Whoa. but only 10 minutes away from Climax. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I'm the host of this shit show. We don't say that. You're right. This poop production. <laughs> I'm Chris Failing. Alongside is my partner in crime, uh, former jerky man, PW50 ripper, and aspiring truck builder himself, Weston Wayne Failing. Thanks, Daddy. We got a great show lined up for you. We're here with Uncle Sean, who has yeah. Ella swapped his K5 blazer. Now he's about to fire this old girl up for this first time. And very important, Weston said blazer. That's right, Daddy. But I think they got it. I didn't say Uncle Orange Juice. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's check this thing out. So, Uncle Sean, what did you start with? And where are we at now? So I started with this 87 K5 Blazer. It was a TBI swap or TBI factory truck with 700 R4. Uh, I put in a 2009 LY6 with a 6L90 combo out of a 2009 3500. Uh, it was a fleet vehicle for a local construction, not construction, electrical company. And uh, yeah, I took the motor out and uh, I actually took the motor out of the other truck. And we went through, did some minor things. The engine was great. It actually was luckily rebuilt recently or before the accident. So we really didn't have to do much. I did some gaskets, little stuff, no big deal. Plugs, wires, I bought a lot of things for it and probably didn't need. But for my peace of mind, I put new coils on it, a whole bunch of stuff it really didn't need, but I wanted to have it on. A radiator that was almost more than the engine itself, but you know, <laughs> I don't like to overheat. That's a big pet peeve of mine. So today we're gonna fire it up for the first time. I'm super excited. I've done probably two years worth of research and parts. Uh, I'm a blue collar guy, so I don't have a ton of money, so I had to buy my parts one by one. They sat in my spare bedroom for a couple years, and you know, I didn't just go down and buy all of it and finance it. It's all paid for. So I been I tore it apart in October, and it's now January, and I've been just, when I have free time, I work a lot. So when I had free time, I came out here. My buddy DJ's been an awesome help. My buddy Scott's been an awesome help. So... Yeah, that's where we're at now. Awesome. So you took a perfectly good running low mile 350 and just ripped it out? Bro, you gotta be kidding me. 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 <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's double the horsepower. And you know, around here, we can't leave nothing alone. <laughs> it's the good old American way. Hey, the good old American way. But this is more than just an LS swap, correct? Right. Yeah, Uncle Sean, is there a plan for wontons in the future? In the off-road community, we call those wontons. <laughs> yes, we got a Dana, a GM Dana 60 for the front, and we got a corporate 14 bolt for the rear. Uh, it probably won't be this year. Uh, we're gonna update the brakes. It does have brand new, I just put brand new tires on it the year before last, so we're probably gonna update the brakes on these, get all the kinks worked out of the drivetrain, because we got LS Fest in the fall. And then this time next year, we hope to be doing an LS swap on an S10 as well as doing an axle swap on it. Busy guy. Always. <laughs> well, that's enough with the future plans. Let's take the past plans that were put into action. And now our current plan is to fire this old girl up. Well, if any luck, we'll make this kitty purr. Kitty purr, make that kitty purr. Yeah, he do. Make it purr, make that kitty purr. Let's do this! Let's do this! Jitters? Are you calm? What part of you is sweating? Does this thing have oil in it? Is the fuel pump working? What kind of quarter mile times do you expect to get? No, yes. I don't think I've ever sweat there before. Yes, yes. Probably 14 seconds. Now can I start this thing? 
Yes. Yep. Number five seconds, watch your world. the cow if I can milk it through the fence. <laughs> now can I borrow this thing and take it doing it? Let's send it. I'm happy to see my brother follow and follow through with his dreams. Congrats brother man. Thanks brother. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Do you want to shout out any products or anybody out on this building? Yeah so I got the engine from Slick Willie Racing in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, the Spear Tech Harness. Uh, the guys out of Indiana, super great guys to work with. I contacted Justin. He had all the information I needed. We actually were going to PRI in 2021. We stopped by the shop. The shop's super cool, low key, awesome dudes to work with. Um, that's really all like the, the products. Pretty much all my hot rod fuel hose. Uh, some guys out of uh, Canada. But really, it's been down to like my friends, my friends that have really helped me with my build. My buddy DJ has been here so much throughout the entire build, day after day after day. My buddy Scott for helping me with all the exhaust. Uh, my buddy Vassal for helping me with the engine and stuff and hooking me up with some manifolds off of his Camaro. Just been, I'm just super thankful for everybody that could give me a hand. So it's been great. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, where can the people find more about this build? So I'm Sean, or people call me Red. Uh, with or custom trucks, but you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube under 269 Truck Addicts. Awesome. Congrats again, brother, man. Thanks, brother. I'm, I'm proud of you. Love you, man. Love you too, brother. On behalf of Sean and Weston, I'm your host, Chris Failing, the Don, signing off, leaving you guys with Sean's pick of this episode's show, babe. Who Madison is? Ivy. There it is, Madison Ivy. And we're out.
I didn't pick anybody. You better pick somebody right now. <laughs> you better pick somebody. <laughs> See, all the girls I like are porn stars. That's fine. I'll, yeah. I'm just going to tag them. Hey, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Here's your end right here. But that's it's my problem DJ because Paul. if my mom's side of the family sees this, that's it's not going to be good. It's DJ Well, they, but here's the thing. If they come to you and go, I know who that is, you go, ah, 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 no, ah, they ah, won't. My mom's side ah, won't. Ah, then you're good. Ah, yeah, but they're going to look who that is. But the, like, yeah. oh. oh, what were you doing on there? Oh, yeah. Just looking up who I like, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't remember how much of that was good, so I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the closing act here. Anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Of this episode's show, babe. Who's Madison she? Ivy. Nice. Yeah, that was good.